Well, good morning. Happy Friday Eve. I'm Jeremy Ray. Welcome to Ozarks Fox AM. And I'm so happy it's Friday Eve. I'm Maddie Conklin. Yeah, I was either going to say pre-Friday or Friday Eve. I, I like Friday know. Eve because it Eve. reminds me of Christmas Eve, and that's always a good time. Don't you be starting talking about Christmas. Yet. <laughs> I know. We just we, got we, out of the thick of it, listen, Maddie. Listen here, you. You don't you. listen to me. It's not near, we gotta get to summer first because I'm excited about planting. I know, you you posted something yesterday. Okay, um, here's the you're thing. You're like, is it too early for these yes. buds so guess to be what? popping? The forsythia is starting to bloom. Oh. Yellow buds of forsythia. I was taking out the trash, I'm like, and then I noticed some of the trees had budded out already. I'm like, the nature is confused. This is still too early in my opinion. If you have Cerebithia in your backyard, does that mean you have the bridge to Terabithia in your backyard? I have, what, I said Forsythia, what are you talking about? What did I say? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm just saying. What you, it's Cerebith for, Cerebithia? Yeah, there's a there's a movie called Bridge to uh, Terabithia. I don't. <laughs> Gem, never mind. Gem of India? The joke just I, totally, never mind. That's I why I didn't know. do, thank you, you know, Jake got it. We had um, the grounds guys on, you know, for yeah, Central's yeah, best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was out there cutting my ornamental grass yesterday because I'm like, I gotta get that cut before, because everything's starting to butt out and it freaked me out. Yeah, G and I were in the backyard looking at all the clovers that we have. We're like, is there any grass here? And then I looked in the front yard, which I haven't even touched. So I got a rake leaves and there's just like patches of like, mm -hmm. is that grass, is that called, what'd you say that was? Ornament, would you have ornamental grass or normal grass? Like Jeremy, ornamental grass, you, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> ornamental grass is you plant in your flower beds for decor, like it looks Oh, good. no, no, the, I think that's just grass. weeds okay, yeah, and then grass you patches. you just need to mow your grass. I just do. <laughs> so I wanted to tell you, this is basically one of these stories, but this is how my brain works and I want you all to know, so, Step inside my brain, will you? You sent me. I'm scared. You sent me an Instagram video the other day, yesterday, of this amazing sandwich on an everything bagel. Yes, uh huh. Yeah, I remember. That bagel went into my dream for hours on end, and I was just mm. eating bagels with cream cheese, like staring at everyone at work. And everyone's like, are you, are you done yet? And I just kept dream. eating. That's how my brain works. That's a good dream. It's a good dream. A good and then dream. I woke up this morning and go, I'm really craving a bagel. <laughs> I haven't had a bagel in so long. Yeah, and that bagel that's unfortunate. Was stuffed with good stuff, though. So many good things. So, and we good news, we are cooking today, so we can talk about food. Because we know it's coming. We're coming, and we we can eat, which yeah. is amazing. We're going to be making Hawaiian burgers. <gasps> we're making a lot. With homemade onion rings. Yes. What? Yeah, we said it. We said it. We said it. <laughs> and we're not forgetting it. <laughs> homemade onion rings, Hawaiian burgers, which, by the way, a lot of stuff we have to do for those burgers. I know. Like a lot. I think we just keep upping the ante for ourselves. Like, can we get it done? Because, yeah. like, again, I think we've said this. We start on Monday of deciding what we're going to do. We're like, yeah, let's do burgers. And you know what? Let's add a side to it just in case, you know, we need more time to fill. And then come Thursday, we're like, stress. how are we going to do all this in stress. three segments, which is basically 15 minutes? No, about 22. 20, 22 minutes. Okay. So but still. we'll see. Tune in the second hour. Um, also, too, I do want to bring in our friends Angela and Jesse because... Hello. I don't know if you Order. noticed, but something we talked about yesterday. I am just gonna say. Uh. <laughs> yes, it's back. What we talking Thank about? Thank I yeah. knew Jesse would. Yep. Oh, I see it. <laughs> Do you see it? Oh. Yes. I'm wearing a socket square. Like, socket oh, square. the socket <laughs> square. The socket <laughs> square is back. And let me just point out too. You know how you said the bagel got in your brain? Yeah. Here, let me point out what sock I've used today because it had a little red in it for this. Mm -hmm. I. This is my ketchup sock. Oh. oh! Ketchup is going onto a burger, and we talked about ketchup on your bologna sandwich yesterday. Oh, gosh, yes, we did. So look at this. There's the ketchup going on a burger, and the other sock that matches this is mustard going on a burger. Oh, well, that's fun. So now I have to make sure I put this back with the sock. <laughs> yes. Oh, so much no. mustard and ketchup go together. <laughs> Match like those that. together. That's so I did so that for fun. you guys last night. I was that's like, well, I'm going to bring back the socket Aww. square. A we, I love quality it. callback. All of that just made me think, we talk about so much in such a short amount of time. We do. Yeah. It's totally forgot we, I think it's a talent. In such a short amount of and time. Such a short, <laughs> yes, <laughs> nothing. Maybe that's why it doesn't stick. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's a good way to look hey, at it. Yeah. See, yeah. look how pretty that is. You never know. You would never no, know. No, socket it is. square, socket square, it's time for socket square. Trademark Jeremy Ray. TMJR. Yeah. That's yeah. impressive. All right, a couple stories here for you. Uh, and who knows where this will go? I mean, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, let's see. Let's find out. Yeah, motto of the show, an unofficial Do motto. Yeah, yeah. So the actor who played C3PO in Star Wars, oh no, that guy. <laughs> that guy, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> So he, the guy who played him, is selling several of his uh, personal items uh, that were props from the iconic movie franchise. Oh. It includes what? the C-3PO head what? that Anthony Daniels wore in the films, 
That alone, they think, could fetch a million dollars. Mm. Other items wow. include the C-3PO hands, as you see there, and some other props that served as parts for the Millennium Falcon. Mm. And scripts, Daniel said, he's lived with some of these items for like 50 years, <gasps> and he feels a little bit torn apart about selling some of them off, but uh, that auction will be held in LA beginning on March 12th. Uh, mm. I could, uh, so cool. you know how the other day, Jeremy, you had the mm -hmm. the face. Yes. The, yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's the I, after look when I get plastic surgery. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or after. Uh, that would be the after look of um, me getting plastic surgery. <laughs> yeah. Metal, uh, aluminum <laughs> surgery, whatever you I love call it. it. Yeah. That's very nice. Uh, does, yeah. does that say something about his financial state? Yep. Like, is he That's selling things off because uh, he needs the money? Uh, or, I don't know. Possibly. That, that's uh, an assumption. Could be. Yeah. Um, I mean, if you've got, a, you know, maybe a couple million dollars worth of things laying around. I'd probably sell too. Well, here's the I, thing. I feel like you can't I, take it with you. He's collected them. He loved it. He's cherished it all these years. Mm -hmm. Why not sell it, get the money, and enjoy the money yeah, before right. you... You go, there right. you go. I was thinking that, like, if I just, just was getting to that point where I was just wanting to downsize and just get rid of stuff, like, I'd rather travel and use my money no. and have experiences than stuff. Yeah, you know? fair assumption, though. Yeah. I mean, Angela, yeah. did you keep all your pageant dresses and, like, homecoming? Uh, oh, absolutely. There's a whole, yeah. like, my basement is, like, a sh and dance costumes. Yeah, and I feel like I need to get rid of those now because they're not going to fit no way, no how anymore. But I'm like, I can't part with it because that was a part of my life. Yes. One, year, one day you will, though. Or same for your daughter. That's what I, yeah, yeah that's what I plan to do. She has her wedding dress. She, like, says if you ever want to use it, but I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I kind of want my own, but, you know. Yeah. Well, like, little parts of it, you yeah. know. Yeah, maybe yeah. Knows. like a photo shoot or something. Who yeah. Knows? You know. That's fun. cute. Got to gotta find the man first, though, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well. Maybe he's But uh, maybe, maybe this is him. Maybe <laughs> a man who was stuck inside the bathroom on a plane was rescued by an unlikely hero. The passenger, identified only as Brent, got stuck inside the rear bathroom on his flight from Salt Lake City to New Orleans last December. Well, after about 35 minutes, the plane's captain came back to assist, and they eventually decided to have Brent kick down the door. Brent said afterwards, the crew was great, but of course Delta Corporate wasn't. Oh. <gasps> but they offered him just 2,000 sky miles as compensation, what? which is equivalent <gasps> of about twenty dollars for the. Are table. you serious? What? Yeah. <laughs> That's why I fly Southwest. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> See, I, I am a Delta fan, but I would be like, okay, I need at least an extra Biscoff cookie or like free extra <laughs> Biscoffs. Yeah. Every time, as soon as I get past TSA, just load me up on the Biscoff. Yeah. yeah oh, I mean, wow. it's basically like ten Biscoff cookies. <laughs> yeah, no, pretty so. right. Oh, I yeah, you want Biscoff on planes? Yeah. Yeah. I only Same, want Biscoff on planes. Same, because you can buy them, but if they. I just no. personally, I feel like they taste better at like twenty thousand feet. Amen. Yeah. There's nothing better than a ginger ale and a biscuit. say ginger ale. I love it. <laughs> like you so good. Followed by a Bloody Mary. <laughs> yes, there you go. I feel like you have to yeah. have something to drink because it's like putting sand into your mouth. Yes. I mean, it is. Just I, yes. I, I just say, uh, no, thank you on those. I, uh, really? I'll have a one Diet Coke, and that's pretty much it. Oh, really? So, oh. Or Diet Dr. Pepper. There you go. There you go. Hey, yeah. didn't DDP learn, loyal. Didn't we learn what soda does to you guys yesterday? Come on yeah. now. Yes. I yes, know. We did. Let's, but sugar free no, artificial sweeteners. There you they go. I don't have any proof yet. So. Yeah, ah, right? Ah, <laughs> you can't get me yet. <laughs> also, did anyone notice that you said uh, the captain went back there? Was the plane still in the air? That's what I'm Who saying. Was Who plane? was flying the plane? <laughs> if you're here, then who's, who's flying right? the plane? Who's flying the plane? And by the way, they oh, yeah, usually have a, well, they have a co-pilot, and I've heard, don't, don't, I'm not a pilot. I've heard that autopilot, when you hit that, basically it's they're just, just oh, yeah. along just for the there. ride. Yeah. They're just so. playing their Game Boys <gasps> there, hanging mm -hmm. out. Oh, I miss my Nintendo Game Boy, mm -hmm. the old school. Oh, yeah. I remember when my, my mom would come in, you know, like when you're, you know, you're sleeping as a kid and you're playing like your Game Boy and I was playing like Super Mario or something. Like, doo, mm -hmm. doo, 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 doo. <laughs> and then she like opens the door and you hear it coming. You're like, and, you're like, oh, and no, then you just hear, doo, 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 doo. yeah. You know, like what is you that know, sound? Like, you know who never disobeyed his parents ever? <laughs> oh, I know. Oh, Thomas I know Schmidt. this. Sir Thomas. Definitely Sir Thomas. Tom Schmidt. Sir. Welcome back. Uh, I was trying to. I was hiding my books in my bed. <laughs> there. Oh, that's nice exactly. he's, the, he's the scholar. I that is Tom. <laughs> that's more believable. Yeah, yes. absolutely. I can see that. Tom, quick question too. We're getting to weather, but you did message our morning AM text group. There was a wine called Thomas Schmidt. Yes. There was. Did you try yes. it? I did have a sip of it. Yes. How was it? It was all right. It's a Riesling, so white wine. Okay. So I'm more red wine guy. I say Tom's a red um, guy. Um, yeah. But it was it was fine. It was fine. Okay. And you had a good trip overall. Yeah. Good. Your good pictures time. looked fun. Went out of Florida. Folks that aren't really aware, I was in Florida the past few days and uh, went to a car show down there and uh, 
had some beach time and family time. So did you uh, buy a car? Right. While I you did were not. Down? No, uh, <laughs> tell you, these cars are like world class. Yeah, Big time. They're in nobody's price range. Uh, okay. okay. Nobody can well, thanks a lot. Yeah. <laughs> C3PO money out here. Right. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. One of those cars. <laughs>